It brings up so much memory just saying that name like that place is of its own like people who went there they know it's another dimension and it's just so beautiful it's so beautiful but it, it showed me a path you know in life and uh, it just I see carry, carrying it with me still today the place is it has its own vibe it has its own like aura and that's what I love with that place. The biggest thing is, is the people. Because the friendships I've made that it's, it's, it's crazy how, how much these people have given to me. And I really, really hope you're going to stay in my life. My fondest memories from Osa are probably the moments of practice when I took my bike early in the morning to the studio, bringing my trombone and favorite songs to practice on my craft, locking and applying new learnings, and really enjoying also the quiet nights and the beautiful sunsets with glowing skies. The one thing that I've definitely taken away from my time at Ossa is the idea that Ossa is the realest place that I've ever been to. The experiences, the emotions and the feelings that I'd gone through at Ossa were some of the realest I had ever experienced. So I started questioning the outside world and it made me like uh, develop this need of taking a bit of reality with me, a, a piece of Ossa with me, you know? to make the real world more authentic, to take away from like this idea of it being superficial, you know? And um, it was really about not losing touch and sense of what was really real, you know? Um, yeah, that's definitely what I've taken away. What surprises me about Osa? I think it's the fact that you have people from all over the world that goes to the woods of Sweden to go dig deeper within hip hop, hip hop culture, hip hop dance. That keeps um, me so amazed that, yeah, this place in the woods of Sweden have become a space for people who want to go deeper within an african-american culture like that i i find that very surprising and also how off-grid all of this is and still uh you have people from all over the world coming here that's the biggest surprise for me i could name a bunch of things that i gained and whole lot of things that I miss but all in all it's just it's just about the vibes you know also has the vibes also is the place to to really go deep within this culture and gain like a lot of self-knowledge and have a lot of exchanges and beautiful moments with other people and I do miss it <laughs> a lot So what did I gain from Osa? Well, I gained a lot from Osa and besides dance skills, I gained a lot of new life experiences. I made a lot of new connections uh, because you live with people you haven't met before. 
you uh, practice with people you haven't practiced before and I think it's uh, really nice that you can learn from each other and it's not only what you learn from the teacher, it's really what you learn from each other so the people really create the place. And I remember I had discussions with people, like uh, we had different opinions, but at the end of the day it kind of widened my horizon and I learned a lot about myself and um, yeah, that's what I gained most of Lhasa. When I went to Osa, I can, I could like express myself. I could dance and be angry. I could dance and be sad, and also very happy and get inspired. So after these years, I really get up to my feet again, and uh, I'm so so thankful for it because, to be honest, Osa and the dance really saved my life. I gained a lot from OSA in the way that I learned that it's such a good thing to be selfish sometimes. You know, some people think maybe sometimes oh, being selfish, you know, but you should, it's a good thing. Focus on yourself. I gained a lot from being there and learning that I should focus on myself in order to be able to focus on others. If I don't know me, I cannot expect myself to know others, you know? we had were they go down the history of the Osa party I don't know how it is now but I tell you <laughs> yeah we had great parties and we had such a great time when someone would throw an event or a party it it really surprised me how we could out of nothing make something so big and we would just like use everyone's uh, ideas and just get things together and it would just work perfectly every time um, yeah that was really really good creating events and going to people's events it stays a really good memory as well what I miss the most from Osa is definitely the unique nature and dancing with people every day these night sessions so yeah i miss that the most the hours also spent in the cyphers a lot of battles a lot of call outs happen a lot of times <laughs> team seven year seven so life hacks and also, <laughs> I got a lot of those. Number one, in the cafeteria, take a coffee cup, take some, when you get this dessert, that are like these small cookies or something, just put a lot of those in, like, and then just walk out of there, acting like you're drinking some coffee or some shit. And then you just have these cookies for the evening, you know? After session and everything, it's like, What I gained from Osa, next to all the things that I expected to gain from it, are beautiful friendships, life lessons, 
self love and acceptance and perspective. Uh, what surprise! Um, people are super chill here. Um, I came from a different world. I really miss uh, people here. So uh, I came back here and there were uh, different people here. I miss most about Osa is my friends, the sessions we have, the parties, the gatherings, um, just waking up and being on campus. One of the most things that I took away is the family. Family feeling, which actually is still with me, even though it's been three, four years since I left Osa. But for the first time, I think in my life, I, I felt that I have a family and people who are going to support me with my journey, who are always going to be there, no matter what, and they are still with me. Even the people that you didn't share the same year with is still your family. Like, we are one big family. Even though we went in different years and it's a connection that is indescribable, but it's real and it's beautiful. Since I've only got a minute, I'm going to jump straight into this. One, best memory, Studio One Nighttime Vibes, nothing compares. I miss it so much. Uh, what did I gain? Uh, I gained the ability to motivate myself within my dance, which is such an important skill to get. What do I miss most? I miss being around my best, like my besties, twenty four seven. Like nothing compares to that vibe. And the studios, of course. What surprised me the most was how fast ten months feels when you're living your best life. Boom! Under a minute. What's that? Like, like, like.